Okay, let me show you this. Here's here we go. Uh, we picked up almost an inch of rain at Weatherford just, you know, in the last several hours. A pretty good downpour there. Uh, 55 degrees on our Weatherford camera, 57 at DFW. DFW's only picked up a third of an inch of rain. Uh, cloudy skies and still some light rain. I've been watching the lightning here on the Dallas Baptist University cameras. We look over the lake. Uh, 57 outside at DBU, 88. Uh, hundreds of an inch of rain, so a little more than three quarters of an inch has fallen there. We've had anywhere from a half an inch to an inch plus across North Texas. Not much happening in Denton. I mean, it never rains in Denton, although you did pick up about three quarters of an inch. Uh, Arlington, Fort Worth, you're drying out. Dallas still seeing some rain. Far Eastern Collin County still seeing some. And some thunderstorms that line up from Sulphur Springs all the way down between Terrell and Canton down to just to the east of Waxahachie, east, uh, west of Corsicana, down uh, around Hillsboro, moving toward you and Mejia. That's the way it looks right now. There's the radar at midnight. Watch this. Overnight tonight, We'll keep some drizzle and light showers around. The bulk of the heavier stuff will be east of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. 7 a.m. tomorrow, the heaviest of the heavy will be up in northeast Texas. That's kind of where it hangs as it rotates around, and that backside of that low drops, uh, continues to drop clouds and sprinkles and showers throughout the day here in north Texas. But finally, after 3, uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow, skies start to clear. West of Fort Worth, you'll clear around lunchtime or shortly thereafter, but everyone else has to wait until after 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon afternoon in East Texas. Good luck with that. You'll be socked in with cloud cover most all of the day. During the day tomorrow, rain coverage 20 to 30 percent right here in the I-35 corridor, higher coverage to the east and lower coverage west of Fort Worth. Now Saturday, we start Saturday with uh, some cloud cover and we'll break out into some sunshine on Saturday. Sunday, it's a pretty cloudy day, a little bit of rain possible late in the day, but watch Sunday night. Here's 7 p.m. Sunday. There's 11 p.m. Sunday, so this is overnight Sunday night toward sunrise on Monday. There's rain at 3 in the morning. We keep rain around at 7 a.m. on Monday, we, and that's another good shot, another half an inch to an inch on top of what we've already picked up tonight. So it's a total of 1 to 2 inches tonight and also on late Sunday night, Monday morning. Monday afternoon, it starts to move out. Sunshine comes back into the forecast. The severe weather threat on Sunday is not in North Texas. It's uh, east, uh, west of Wichita Falls to Abilene and uh, up into the Panhandle and far west Texas. And then on Monday, since the activity moves in overnight, Monday the severe weather threat is far, far east Texas, Louisiana and Arkansas and Mississippi. For us, I think we're going to get lucky overnight on Sunday night. We'll have more rain, but the severe weather threat most at this point, I don't have any severe weather threat Sunday night, and that's good news. But anytime you have thunderstorms in North Texas, I've learned just always be alert. 56, that's the low temperature tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed the Mavs game tonight. Uh, late day sunshine tomorrow. Otherwise, a lot of clouds with scattered light showers and a high tomorrow of 69. The next 14 days, there's that little bit of rain late day Sunday. 70% of a sea rain Sunday night. 30% of a sea rain on Monday morning. Tuesday is dry. Wednesday, maybe a shower. Most of us are dry on Wednesday. And then Thursday, it's the home opener. The season opener for the World Series champion Texas Rangers on Thursday, 635, playing the Cubs. Uh, Good Friday. Right now, it is dry. We have another Mavs game on Good Friday at 9 p.m. Saturday before Easter is dry. Sunday, Easter Sunday right now, there's a low chance of a little bit of rain, and that will linger into the day on Monday.